Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the prospect of an influx of Chinese tourists and travelers into Thailand. Thought of making this video after reading a recent article from The Edge Markets, that's theedgemarkets.com. Article is titled, As China Reopens, Well-Off Citizens Embrace Quote-Unquote Run Culture and Seek New Homes in Southeast Asia. Quoting directly Singapore, January 14th, property agents and immigration experts are seeing a surge in inquiries from Chinese nationals for family offices in Singapore, condos in Malaysia, and residency in Thailand. As immigration to Southeast Asia becomes an increasingly tantalizing prospect after three years stuck at home. Quoting further, but as China dismantles most of its zero COVID, excuse me, most of its strict zero COVID rules and allows its people to go overseas for the annual holiday, many appear set to act as to act on long-delayed plans, visit properties they bought for the first time, or make the jump for good from life in China. Yeah, this is kind of a it's kind of a common theme. We see it with a lot of different groups of expats or proposed expats here in Thailand. Basically, they come to Thailand ostensibly, seemingly as tourists. They end up living here. Now, what is Thai immigration going to do about this? Well, that remains to be seen. Now, those who come into Thailand in proper visa status probably aren't going to have a big issue. That said, conversion to a new visa in Thailand, especially now that the emergency decree has been dropped since the, what, October of 2022, I don't see a situation where visa conversions are going to be overly easy. Meanwhile, the Thai immigration authorities definitely are cracking down on those who are using improper visas, as well as those who are looking to live in Thailand under sort of false pretenses. So again, Thai immigration is pretty strict or is, it strictly enforces Thai immigration law. So for that reason, yeah, I could definitely see an upsurge in arrests and things associated with Chinese nationals here in Thailand. Now that said, as we've discussed in prior videos on this channel, they do not any longer disclose nationality in media reports pertaining to arrests and things in Thailand. So it will be interesting to see exactly how this plays out.